Hey everyone, welcome to The Cabin. My name is Alec Brits and today we're going to be talking about the Rock Rupal Comp 2 Stereo or Dual Mono Varimu Compressor. I'm going to show you everything you get when you purchase the unit, but most importantly, how it sounds. Big thanks as always to Studio Care for making these videos a possibility. Let's jump right in. So on the front of the COM2, the thing that immediately grabs your attention are these two beautiful VU meters over here. They're designed and manufactured by Hoyt and can be calibrated by using a small flathead screwdriver inside of this little hole over here. We then have our potentiometers. We have an input, an output, and our threshold control. All of these cannot be switched, unfortunately, because of how the circuit is designed. Moving on to the switches, however, we have attack and release. I'll pop the attack and release times right over here. And these are switched and they feel absolutely fantastic. Just as a side note, even though these are not switches, oh, they feel good. Then we move on to our sidechain section over here. Now, what's interesting about this is the first setting is amp only. And when it's in amp only mode, all of this is bypassed so that you only have the sound of the circuit without the compression circuitry inside of it. This means that you can use this as a saturation device to be able to thicken up or to distort any signals you would like. From there, we have the flat setting, which is compression without any sidechain activated. Then we have 54 hertz, 74 hertz, 110 hertz, and 160 hertz. After that, we have our dual mono and link switch. The link will always take preference on the channel that is loudest. Then we have our bypass and in switches over here. Again, everything feels really solid and well put together. On the rear of the Rock Group will come too. We have our XLR inputs over here. We have our XLR outputs over here. Then we have the power switch on the rear, which is a little bit annoying. Would be better if it was on the front. Let's take a little second to talk about the power supply in this device. Even though there's only one IC input, each of the channels have their own regulated power supply. This is really important in that it's a true dual mono design. Now we get to take a listen to how the unit sounds. I'm gonna process individual stems, and then at the end of that, we'll do all of the process stems combined with this on the master bus as well. Can we go out tonight? I wanna feel like I've just met you for the first time Pretend to be strangers in the night So that we can fall in love again Just met you for the first time Pretend to be strangers in 
the night so that we can fall in love again. Can we go out tonight? Wanna feel like I've just met you for the first time? Pretend to be strangers in the night So that we can fall in love again So the Rock Rupel Comp 2 Verimu Compressor. I used to have a manly Verimu for a very long time and sadly I, I had to let that unit go. But it imparted this beautiful air that just kind of glued a mix together and sometimes would soften transients in a really beautiful and musical way. So when I got the Comp 2 into review, I thought to myself, well, here we go. This is gonna be like a manly Verimu, give or take a few little pieces. I couldn't have been more wrong if I'd tried. <laughs> It does do the very new thing, where if you put it on electric guitar bus, as you heard earlier, it kind of unifies the sound in a really beautiful way. But if you're not careful, things can get harsh, and it's not gonna do that very soft valve thing that just goes, ah, oh, I'll cover up all of your woes from the past. All of your bad miking decisions are now remedied due to my beautiful and rare tubes that I have inside my body. No, this thing, will be as aggressive as you want it to be. And the thing that like blows me away the most is I would never, ever put a Verimu compressor on a drum kit. 0 0.6 milliseconds, are you kidding me? That's ridiculously fast. There are a couple things that I would want to change in the unit. The first is having the power switch on the front of the device. In a music studio, there's a lot of time where your power supplies are switched on, but the gear is not necessarily in use. The other thing that I would love to see added to this box is a mix control. Because you can do some drastic compression, being able to blend would be an absolute win. So where do I see myself using a box like this? Weirdly, not as much in mixing as I thought. In tracking, it's an absolute weapon. Being able to use it to control transients on vocals, the way that this thing can make a snare drum absolutely bloom while controlling that initial transient, so much so that my 1176 is getting a bit nervous over there because I would pick this over an 1176 to track a vocal any day of the week. Overall, the repairability on the unit is unbelievable. Like anything I get from the Mastering Works guys, I popped the hood immediately, sent a photo to my tech and said, so what do you make of this then? He said that repairing this would be an absolute breeze. I'm getting serious Manul Tech vibes from this. If you want to check a video on another piece of kind of boutique esoteric things, check out that review. Thank you guys so very much for watching. If you have subscribed to the channel, thank you so very much for doing so. If you would like to subscribe to the channel, then please feel free to do so. Most importantly, I hope that you're all looking after yourselves and you're being kind. I'll see you in the next one.